they have been taken away by the world. This passage uh, will directly relate to your challenge tomorrow. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Does he not leave the 99 in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds them? Or suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and loses one. Does she not light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? There was a man who had two sons. The younger one said to his father, Father, give me my share of the estate. So he divided his property between them. Not long after that, the younger son got together all he had, set off for a distant country, and there squandered his wealth in wild living. Dear tribe members, last night during tribal council voting, you elected your most valuable player of your tribe. Unfortunately, their pride has caused them to fall away in, in dire need of a search and rescue team. They have fallen into sin and have listened to the world's wisdom. This has led them to be captured by sin. Your mission is to retrieve this lost sheep immediately. They are hidden in the survivor outback and will be located along one of the main man-made paths. They will not be able to speak to you since they are too caught up in the world. So go to him or her and place them on the stretcher. Once you have located your lost sheep, you must, quick, you must carry them to safety. <clears throat> Build a stretcher. Again, everyone must have a, at least one hand on the stretcher. The first team to bring the lost sheep back to safety is the winner. Now go retrieve the lost sheep. Sincerely, the, vir the survivor out back Mastermind. Is <laughs> Both tribes were given wood that would create a stretcher. They were also given rope that would be used to intertwine the pieces and make a sturdy stretcher. And they're off. Jerry's kids take a slight lead as Team Rojo follows slightly behind. And in less than two minutes, Team Rojo takes the lead. Both teams keeping a steady pace as they travel into the Survivor Outback. They're saving their energy as they know carrying the sheep back to safety will be a difficult task. And there's been a surge. Now it's tied up. Which way are they gonna go though? That's the question. Team Rojo decides to go right while Jerry's kids fix their stretcher and decide to go straight. No one has any idea where their lost sheep is. The two teams are face to face. They continue to look, both teams in different areas.
Jerry's kids have their sheep. But Team Rojo has their sheep as well and is following close behind. And Team Rojo breaks to the left in an attempt to pass Jerry's kids. And with determination, Team Rojo takes the lead. Jerry's kids refuse to give up as they persevere towards the end. With one last surge, Jerry's kids try to win the challenge. Congratulations, you guys are the winners! So Dying over here! Woo. What do you think, Roland? Some hard work. Uh, oh yeah. You must be exhausted. I'm, I'm extremely tired. I was really hard on me. <laughs> Marty, you took a little break. What happened there? Yeah, I just had to try to catch up. What'd you take a break for? Bathroom break. Very nice. Yeah. There's no doubt that Jerry's kids worked exceptionally hard. But in competitions, there has to be a winner. And Team Rojo is that winner. So Jerry's kids received bananas, apples and oranges as their breakfast, while Team Rojo received a full course meal inside the Vanderlip house. But wait, there's more to Luke 15. Parable of the lost son. Uh, the son was lost, he was found, he came back, and uh, the father had a big feast for him. Well, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to let everybody eat breakfast. So, because we, uh, we found what was lost, and it's time to celebrate. I need somebody to look out for them. You know what they say when life gives you cake and mix up? I'm at my happiest right now. I love cooking. This is my second choice of a career right here. This is it. I've got, uh, we brought in from out of state, Mr. Roland Peterson through the grits. You see, you need a real southern boy. I'm, I'm the most southern person here. He's known, he's known for his grit. I'm from South Florida, so you don't, you don't do that. He's got a whole pound over here. Okay, <laughs> How's it going, Laura? Whole pound of butter. We're on the winning of the losing team. The losing team. Well, how'd it go? We're all winning. Yeah, we're all winning. Right, right, right. Because we're all eating. That's right. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was a great race. Worked hard, worked up a sweat. And what do you guys think about the uh, the other team inviting you guys over to eat them without a cat? That's what the that's that's awesome. What did the woman in the in the story with the coin do? She invited all her friends and neighbors. We're all friends and neighbors. That's exactly right. That's what we are. Okay, you can stop filming now.